Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your July love and sexual reading for the first half of July, the 1st through the 15th. So let's see what's going on with my Aries in love and sex and passion. And love, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aries, please. What's going on with my Aries? Getting to know each other. Romantic feelings. Oh, nice. Nice. So, someone definitely has romantic feelings. And you're really going to start getting to know one another. Whether that's going on more dates. Uh, talking over the phone. Texting. You know, flirting. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, if you feel like, you know... Um, you do not block what you feel or do not try to act all hard by, you know, saying, no, I don't feel anything. You know your ass does. And then you have the getting to know each other card here. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Take the time to really get to know each other. You know, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite position in bed? I don't know. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Y'all know, you know you like that shit, mm-hmm, sexual talk, who doesn't? So, <laughs> all right. Then we have in the near future. And get more information. Get to know each other and get more information. You see that? You gotta get to know each other. And in the near future, you never know, you might even be together. But right now, it's like the whole lovey-dovey thing and dating and stuff and maybe in the near future you guys might just be together like permanently you just never know okay so Aries, please sex and love the first half of july the knave of swords really wanting to keep it on the hush hush you know don't don't go out and brag to your friends or whatever Really get to know each other first before you start, you know, of course, gossiping to your homies or to your girlfriends. Keep it to yourself. Keep it low key. Five of Swords reverse. Try not to, to fight. And if you do, make sure it's in bed. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Make sure if you want to, if you fight, make sure it's in bed. Some hot sex stuff. People, or either that or somebody really likes it rough. Mm -hmm. Likes to talk dirty. You're really... For my Aries, especially for my men. And the women too, shit. Don't get me wrong. Like, a female Aries is like a nympho. And then a male Aries, he's like... Oh god, how do I even say it? A playboy bunny. <laughs> yep. Then we have the Queen of Wands. Look at this. Mm-hmm. This could be you, female Aries. Really getting down and dirty, getting down to business. Like I said, really sexual talk and telling each other what you could do. And he, you see how he's like putting the crown on her? Like, damn, boo, you the queen. You know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be, you're like, damn, this person is like wifey or husband material. They can, um, they make me feel good. They know how to please me. They never leave me waiting. They know what a man, woman wants. They're financially stable. Whole package. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Someone's the whole complete package. And you never know, you might settle down with this person in the near future. But right now, you guys are just like revealing yourselves to each other. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Happiness, love, and accept each other as you are. And your relationship will magically transform. And that fell on top of the Five of Swords reverse. So, maybe you guys will reach a point where, you know, you start like, play fighting or criticizing each other in a low-key way but you know you take it out in the bedroom anyway so who cares <laughs> and 
And then Sacred Union came out. Ooh. Uh, it says, honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Then we pull one more spread. I'm using all of my sexual spreads. <laughs> you know me. Mm-hmm. where I'm going to end up making my own sexual tarot or oracle card in the future. Mm -hmm. That's me. Then we have the queen of air. Look at you. You know what you're doing. Someone knows what they're doing. They're like, this is you or them teasing you. Like, look at that. Someone has a really nice ass and they know it. They like to show it off when they walk by. And you're, in your mind, you're probably thinking, damn, this person has a really nice ass. That's why you hooked. <laughs> this is someone who knows how to, who's not afraid to tell the truth, who's not afraid to tell it like it is. God, my cards got all messed up. Okay. Someone who's very honest and true. This is why you really like this person. Oh, yeah, look. This is the Ace of Pentacles. So, Queen of Air with the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who's really down to earth. This is someone who's not afraid of commitment and who's not a, a, who's not afraid to tell you, you know what, I don't want fucking crumbs. I want the whole thing. Yep. That's what you guys are going to be dealing with. And you're going to love that shit. <laughs> All right, Aries, this is your romantic love and sexual reading for the first half of July. Love you guys. See you in your next video.